So I am building a new application uh, and this one is uh, basically a recruitment platform. I kind of covered that a little bit in my last profile, uh, last video. Um, but essentially it's just a normal HTTP Golang service. Um, and I have endpoints obviously, which have logic in it, of course, right? So for example, uh, we have this create profile endpoint here and I'm using Fiber just for basically how simple it is. Um, but I wanted to be able to isolate it, to, to kind of unit test logic isolated away from the data layer as well um, and because I know this is just a side project and the likelihood is I'm only going to have one HTTP driving adapter at all times I've basically got my repositories and I've got services inside of endpoints directly now this is a little bit different from hex because in hex or in clean architecture you typically see your repositories embedded into your uh, your services so basically inside of your business layer right but the separation I've done here which th there's probably other patterns that do this already uh, but to keep this really simple for me I've, what I've created is a new services package now this services package basically has uh, all of the logic that I want around profiles but without caring about integrations right to a certain extent so if I want to I could go and embed certain things into the service um, maybe like an email sender or something I don't know that kind of thing if I, if I really wanted to but the idea is that this is going to be unit testable logic that I can test on a profile object right so there's no dependencies here it's just isolated logic that the my applications core has right so the actual business um, logic here that the application has so it doesn't care about the database doesn't care about anything it's just a unit that I can test that does logic based like for an endpoint right all that can be reused for our different endpoints so let's take this one here so I have this create profile uh, service method now this one currently doesn't really do a lot it just validates some data uh, based on the request input and it just returns some validation errors if there is an error on this data of course right uh, so you can see um, I'm using a defined error here called invalid input so then that way I can check in my endpoint if the reason for the failure was due to invalid input and obviously you can define other ones like that like maybe there's some specific needs to throw an error if some request comes in with some certain data you can use those type of errors right but so uh, the, the really nice thing about this is now I can unit test I can write a test for this create profile function so I can ensure that every uh, profile that comes into my endpoint is you know with the with, with valid requ uh, request data and even those you can test to make sure it is, it is valid uh, I can then ensure each time I get you know a actual profile object populated correctly with all the fields I need like when it was created um, the user that the profile belongs to all that kind of fun stuff right and I can do that all in an isolated method away from my database and my actual endpoint itself so it kind of moves a lot of the code you're typically seeing an endpoint or you're typically seeing the core of hex but just into like an abstracted service met method um, so currently like I say this one doesn't do a lot but let's think about some examples of what profiles might actually want so I've got four methods here defined so you know, I might want to be able to mark a profile as paid uh, if I introduce like a payment gateway I might want to be able to disable a profile estimate a skill level of a profile that would be quite a cool one and set experience for a profile right so all, all fairly simple stuff but there's, there might be some kind of business rules like maybe disabling profile uh, is based on a bunch of data on the profile objects and some input coming in again and all of that kind of all those kind of rules I want to be able to be sure that they're working fine away from my endpoint and away from my database so simply this service pattern solves that so nicely and it's really easy um, so yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much it really. Um, you can see kind of one being used here. So it's really simple again the, the structure. So I just kind of have a service struct. I uh, have a new service method, and then all my methods are directly on that. Uh, I then have these separated in sub packages with an errors.go file inside of the services, so I can find some custom errors that can be wrapped into service errors. Uh, and then like I say, my profile itself just goes and embeds in the profile API which is uh, that service method we were just talking about the profile service and it goes and does any logic it needs to do on the new profile coming in and then simply all I do after that is I take the profile and I throw that into the repo using the add profile method on the profile repo right and that's all interface so I can change the database and it doesn't matter uh, so yeah just just quite cool really quite an easy way of uh, isolating your code to make sure you can unit test stuff nicely and especially if it is 
something that's quick and easy and you don't want to go full full like hex or full clean architecture you just want to be able to test your actual logic it's probably not a new concept to a lot of people but i just thought it's it's worth a video on as i know you know some projects i've worked on at companies before don't follow this either and they do just kind of have maybe some functions that are shared around or maybe some logic in endpoints and some logic in some shared functions or something but having a complete service for any operations on a object on a domain makes your life really easy in terms of having an isolated uh, separate package that you can throw around anywhere and have that unit tested and know your application works correctly so quick video but hopefully you get value from it as always and if you do uh, drop a like i'm closing on 2000 subscribers which is awesome uh, and yeah like i say see you guys in the next video